Hello and welcome to another episode of Mike and Dave's Hi-Fi Riff. I'm Mike Evans. And I'm David Price. And you are? Hello, I'm Jessica. <laughs> Hello, I'm Jessica. <laughs> You're joining us again. I am, <coughs> and a pleasure it is. Oh, mm. we're thrilled to have you, you Jess. Thrilled Cheers. to have you. And uh, a normal, in, well, I'm sure everybody will know Jess uh, mm. from Care Acoustic Speakers. Uh, but actually, Jess, we're going to review an amplifier we today. Are. So here we go. How's your amp knowledge? Well, it's reasonable. I mean, you can't really do much with a passive loudspeaker without them. So, yeah, they're, they're quite, quite essential. <laughs> it's really. a necessary yes. evil it for is. the speaker it designer, basically. It really is. Very no, much is. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and we've got a bit of a stonking amplifier here, today, yes. haven't we? Mm. And it's actually the second time we've done a riff on this particular brand. Yes. First time we did it was, I think, with a DAC, DAC. wasn't it? Yep. Um, and it went down a storm. Because, David, what are we going to review today? So, uh, we're going to review the Sugden A21 SE, Mike. Can I ask why you're wearing a pair of motorcycle gloves? Um, for, uh, basically, so my hands don't get burnt into bits. Thermal <laughs> so, protection. <laughs> because uh, I think we're, we're saying that this is a Class A amplifier. Yes, <laughs> we've been giving it the beans, haven't uh, we? When, whenever you're ready. So, David will be back in a moment. He's just... Uh, He's just trying to pick the ah, sugden up. Yeah. <laughs> just, there we this go. Is, yes, this is why you're here. Can you hold this? Can you hold this? I think it, I can. Too, um, no, 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 no. I think that's it's cooled yeah, down a bit. Yeah. So, Jez, you're taking one for the riff. I, I, and you gladly are. so. Yeah. Brilliant. Of course. Yeah, it's that. quite a weighty beast, isn't it? Yeah. Seriously. It's quite hot too, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. But when we turned it off 10 minutes ago, it was first ceremony. Yeah, it was. Hence the mic clubs. It's quite nice, actually. Just what you need on a summer's day. Yes, that's very true. Yes, yeah. In mid June in the UK, um, I think it looks fantastic. There it is, that's a Lovely great looking red fascia. Yeah. I love that. I love a sort of anodized red finish. Yeah, it's cool. It's absolutely very, to die very for, nice. isn't it? Yeah, it's you still with us over there? Yeah, I'm, uh, yeah I'm fine. I'm just getting over the shock of uh, <laughs> <laughs> putting your bike gloves so, on. Just answering a bit of a few emails as well. Talk amongst yourselves. Well, sure. you've got a two stroke, haven't you? As somebody pointed out in the comments last week, so you've got a two stroke. So yeah, you're probably not used to riding it, but really. it's probably breaking down all the time. So. You know. mm-hmm. In fact, isn't it interesting? There's a, there's a there's a correlation here, isn't there, between two stroke motorcycles and class A amplifiers? There um, is because they're both quite quirky, aren't they? Really? Yes, they um, are. In a lovely yeah. way as well. Mm-hmm. I've yeah. got to say, I'm a huge two stroke motorbike yeah. fan. Uh, owned a few in my time, RD yeah. 350s and things like that. Yeah. Just, you know what we're talking about uh, now. Not a clue, oh, I'm afraid, no. This is this far is great. outside we of actually, my... Uh, we've got a com- we can have a conversation which Jez doesn't know more than us yes. about. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's a first. Yes, there we go. Um, Absolutely. And Class A amps are a little bit quirky as well, aren't they? They are. Because this is a massive, great, heavy thing. And it what's is. the power output on this? Um, 30 watts per channel, Mike. Yes, there we are. There we are. So well, 30 um, beautiful watts, mm. I would say. It's Very 30 watts so. into 8 and 40 into uh, 4. And we've just been listening to the Musical Fidelity M8XI. Yes. Um, which has got 550 watts RMS into 8 ohms per channel. Yes. And it's not an awful lot heavier than that. <laughs> <laughs> if at all. So, uh, yeah. If at all. Yeah. So, um, yes, this is a beast. You okay with yeah, that? Absolutely fine. You yeah. sure? Yeah, no, it's all good. So, yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. Just, um, not that you have any choice, of course. We're not moving. No. Yeah, you're, you're well, uh, it's like having a very heavy metal family cat on your lap. Just yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. A warm one as well. Yes. Very yeah, warm one. It's kicking out the thermals, yeah. Absolutely. Yes. Mm. Um, I, um, I probably shouldn't uh, ask you to do this, and I won't, but... Sure. Amazing from the back as well. Well, yeah, we, of can, we can take a picture, we Jez, and we can show. Uh, no, I think got, we can just about manage some of the coolest, a um, so coolest binding, this in two, binding sockets I've ever seen. <laughs> there we go. Uh, look at those. those. These are just Chunky. bad boys, aren't they? Yeah, <laughs> they are fantastic. That's David, stop it. Look, Jez and <laughs> Jez and I share a passion for yeah. Yeah. bothering. Well Absolutely. Done. So, yes. you know, but that's fabulous. How nice for you. Thank you very much. Thank you. No, it's good. We haven't checked out the knob feel yet, have we? That's next on the agenda. Oh God, Jez, you'll have a reputation. Um, but uh, amazing amplifier and and I'm absolutely thrilled to hear it because I've got to be really honest the only time I've ever heard Sugden Amps has been at hi-fi shows and I actually think it's the the amps I've heard have made a great noise at hi-fi shows but it's never a great place to listen to them is it because the rooms are normally a bit crappy and uh, Mm. you know the acoustics are poor but they still put up a really good effort and it's so nice to actually hear them David in your listening room yeah um, uh, and absolutely shining, yeah. mm. really amazing, yeah. really, yeah. really cool. Lo- I've loved it. Absolutely well, loved um, it. I had um, for a long time when I was editing Hi-Fi World, I had a long loan of an IA4 Masterclass IA4, uh, which is basically this is like the shrunk in the wash version of that. Wow! Um, and um, that was an absolutely gorgeous sounding amp, um, and I loved it. 
and uh, it went back in the end because I had to had some other stuff to to to, to try. But um, this this brings back memories for me. It sounds really similar. Mm. So I I think in my experience, I've reviewed all the Suttons over the years, um, or you know certainly in the modern era. Um, you know you're getting very similar sound but just a bit more power the more you go up the range you know mm, yes. a bit stronger bass um but the the Sugden signature sound is there to hear isn't it and, and if it ain't broke don't fix it yeah right? mm. so, yeah. yeah absolutely yeah. so um these are these are a yorkshire aren't they yorkshire yeah. amplifiers mm. yeah absolutely um, um and been going for an awfully long time yeah like so family business mm. i think the original a21 came out in 1968 yes um and it started as as uh, i think it was badged as a richard allen um, and um, it was very soon became the J.E. Sutton, Jim Sutton, right. A21, and obviously they've developed it over the years, but but not that much, sure. you know. Um, did, sorry, did Richard Allen make loudspeakers? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, right, cool. So um, yeah, it, and this is the this is um, in today's modern range. This is the one from the bottom, as far as I remember. Um, it's the SE version. The, the the basic one has a smaller power transformer, um, and um, but this is basically I think um, you know it's got a slightly better preamp section and a fifty percent bigger power transformer than the entry level, mm -hmm. and this is where I think that you really get it starts to really get good. You know, with the the basic one you can it's it's exquisite, but you need very sensitive speakers. You know, um, and you need to kind of tailor your 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 system around the amp. Otherwise, you're dealing with low power outputs. Sure, know? sure. Um, but this is, um, yeah, this this it's no musical fidelity M8XI, obviously. But mm. you know, it should be good enough for most people in medium sized rooms. I think with mm. reasonably sensitive speakers. And if you've got that, then this is a just a fabulous amplifier, isn't it? Yeah. Um, we listen to. Uh, Al Jarreau, which I haven't heard in a thousand years. Yes. Uh, yeah. We listened to Summertime on your. Yeah. Oh, Jess, doesn't mm. this Japanese import. I know. I mean, and he just gets strips. these out. Yeah, we know, are. Just, just, for the, just for the riffs. He's mm. probably got the proper ones. That, that produced by Marcus um, Miller as well. Yeah. 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 But how good did that sound? This sounds is, phenomenal, yeah, actually. Ab this really is cool. Absolutely brilliant recording. Yeah. Super. Um, and um, even if you hate Al Jarreau, if you want to know how good your system yes. can sound, yes. yeah. Yeah. this is uh, something. It's one of those very get. sort of atmospheric yeah. recordings. Yeah. You can really hear the venue yeah. and. Uh, we yeah. we um we we fired up the Sugden um, from cold and put Al Jarreau on. Mm. Uh, these two went off for a beer. I wasn't invited, mm. and um, uh, within probably a minute it was sounding phenomenal. And yeah. I would have thought it would have taken an awfully long yeah. to, to yeah. warm up than that. Sure, but literally straight out the box, it sounded absolutely it incredible. Sounded lovely. Yeah, um, I couldn't get over it. Mm. I, I really thought it was just sensational. Yeah. Um, really, really brilliant. Mm. Um, and, and I've got to admit, and, and you, you know, so I'm not a massive Class A fan, yeah, because uh, I find them it can be it can be a little bit sort of woolly, a little bit fuzzy around mm. the edges, yeah. But, yeah. but this was just this was just glorious, really, she's here. just glorious, yeah, yeah. yeah. lovely, yeah. really nice. And I guess it's because you know, actually 30 watts is quite a lot for Class A, isn't it? And it, it does feel very powerful, yeah. And mm. you get an incredibly big sound, yeah. yeah. Although we we were lucky enough to have a a decent pair, a half decent pair of 88 dB, but mm. one watt. Um, yes. Speakers. Um, I, I forgot what they're called now. What, what were they? Uh, uh, was it see, TBC. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. Some some nifty little prototypes. Yes. Yeah. So we're we um, talking about those. I didn't think we were allowed yeah. to mention those. Jess. Oh, they can have a mention. Yeah, okay. But, um, okay. Yeah. yeah. Very good. Are we allowed to mention the model? Yeah. Right? Absolutely. No. Yes, you can. By so all means. You've yeah. got them. Well, it's the it's the K four hundred from Care Acoustic, which is a uh, our smallest loudspeaker yet. Yes. Um, Pending release, hopefully, kind of early September this yeah. year. So it's uh, yes, a, a powerful little sort of pocket rocket of a, yeah. of a mini monitor. It's a, so. a very small. Well, it's mm. a small compact transmission line mm. with a ribbon tweeter. It is, yeah, and um, uh, a very nice. Is it what mid, a mid base? Is it? Yeah, it's a, it's a Scanspeak Revelator. Scanspeak. Okay. Yeah, yeah, right. the yeah. five and a quarter inch. Yeah. yeah. Um, and um, sounded absolutely fantastic. Phenomenal. It, it worked really well with these. Yeah, <laughs> no, it up and I, I, I yeah. hate to say it's easy. You're sitting right next to me. <laughs> yeah. uh, absolutely oh, fantastic. No, thank yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Amazing, amazing. Nice. Yeah, um, I didn't know we were going to be talking well. about this. Stuff. I'm quite excited about that now. It's oh, brilliant. cool. This is Cheers. double whammy, isn't it? A really cool amp and an amazing <laughs> yeah. pair of speakers. Yeah. Well, no, it's not yeah. cool, Mike. It's still yeah, quite it's still, yeah, yeah, I see. There's a hole in my jeans. It is. Sorry, yeah. 
Excellent. No. We'll, so, take, we'll take that out the, the high-fi yeah. riff budget. Baby, <laughs> so, but yeah. You'll have to get them from Oxfam. But, that's uh, that's yeah. all right. I can deal with that. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, mm-hmm. like, like all the others. But um, it, it's um, the sucked in Class A sound is different to the musical fidelity Class A mm-hmm. sound, I think. Um, especially if we're talking about the original musical fidelity A1 that came out in the 80s. That's a lot sweeter than yes. the Sugden. The Sugden is still sweet by the by the standards of, of many amps, mm. but um, you know the 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 music of Dalty A one the original is almost syrupy, mm. uh, I think, and this yeah. is much cleaner and more kind of balanced, but with a kind of gentle sweetness That's around it. the yeah, edges. It's like yeah, half a teaspoon of sugar yeah, in the yeah, tea without yeah. being too yeah. Yeah. So I've, I've yeah. changed my opinion on the A1 because yeah. when I was younger I didn't like it very much because it wasn't dynamic enough. I wanted to I wanted to sort of name sound which was really powerful and transient. Mm. Um, and now I've kind of grown to love the A1 because yeah. it's got that lovely soft around the edges fuzzy yeah. felt feel. Yeah. Um, and it means that actually your listening is quite easy. Yeah. Um, with this I think that it's it's really sensational because it's mm. got that uh, that it's easy to listen to, but yes. it's dynamic, it's yeah. powerful, it it's fast, it's really, yeah, really precise fabulous. and detailed. That's Unbelievably right. Yeah. So. Yeah. Sort of la- laid so. back, but without yeah. being lackluster. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So it's sort of perfect there. storm, really, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. You know, it is very precise, and um, uh, it, but it's still you compare it to many class A Bs, and it's still a teensy bit soft yes and i'm not sure if that is the you know power supply issues or whatever um or if it's simply that we we get used to the hardness and distortion from normal class abs that Mm. isn't there with this it's possibly the latter actually yeah Yeah. because because with the recording from al it sounded unbelievably yeah. good mm, it? you yeah. know so it's capable yeah. of brilliance yeah no two ways about it well we we, um, we, we also played um what was, what? Uh, uh, this obviously pet shop boys ah, oh yes um, yeah. and uh, we played um love, love comes, comes quickly, quickly. Yeah, mm. which great is a great song. Uh, and look yeah. i've heard that sound really harsh yeah you know really yeah. really yeah. brittle yeah. Yeah. very up in your um, face yeah but actually mm. not at all uh not mm. in the least in it, fact you know it was, yeah. it's actually um uh, very easy to listen to again yeah yeah so yeah I think it lacked, um, speaking of someone who's currently using a 550 watt RMS per channel into 8 ohms uh, amp on a daily basis, it lacked guts and punch, I think, um, you know, by the standards of the, the musical fidelity, sure. class AB. Mm. Um, but, but most things do. <laughs> no. No, okay. So, you okay. know, um, but I th- I, what, what I'm trying to say is that um, if you want a super muscle amp, this is not it. So it drives stuff very well. It doesn't show any outward it, particular signs of being overstretched or out of breath, but it's just not a kind of gutsy mm. uh, thing. It's more of a kind of, uh, you know, um, it, it, if, if it was a, a, a sort of motorbike, it would be a kind of a midsize across the frame four rather than a massive mm. Harley or something. Sure, yeah. but with loads of torque. Yeah, with lo- That's yeah. It. loads of ground. It's sort of cleanly peeled to have to rev, yeah. is yeah. it? Yeah. 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 That's right. Yeah. But it yeah. drove your... your K four hundred. No issues at all. No yeah, yeah, yeah. At all. No, no, is it eighty-eight dB? Eighty-eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A fairly smooth impedance yeah. load, but sure. um, but at no point did it sound like it was running yeah. out of shaft, did it? No. And no. Um, and then we were just, pretty loud as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah we, we were. Yeah, yeah. 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 Up, so. I think it, it one of it, it, its best moments actually was mm. with this. Was we played uh, "Welcome to the Occupation" and um, also "Disturbance of the Heron House." Yeah, mm. yeah. yeah. Um, this is we were ju- just saying. This is our the last great REM album. The last mm. great REM album, five in a so, row, yeah, and then sort of yeah. not really too much um, after that. But this mm. is this um. is a great recording, mm. and and it's got lovely. So the, the 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 great thing about this is is the tonality is very pure, isn't it? Um, the the sound of the Rickenbacker guitars, you know, yeah, so really raunchy, wasn't it? And, mm. and clean, yeah. Uh, and that's a difficult album. Yeah, that's a really difficult album. I just want yeah. to mention this for a second because this is Document. Which is which is their fifth album? Um, if if you if you've only listened to REM after this, you've really missed a trick. Yeah, because you've missed the, everything. Really. You have missed everything. Yeah, yeah. Because you know, the, the, in fact, the two albums preceding this are, are if not better than this, mm. um, Fables of Reconstruction and Life's Rich Pageant, which really, really yeah. stunningly good albums. Yeah. Um, but this sounded great, didn't it? It's lovely. That's just this is really not a bad song on this album. No, it's no. just fabulous. The acoustic guitar as well. You could just sort of hear every or, string, and it just really yeah. cleanly just lays everything out. It's Absolutely. not in it's not yes. in a rush to sort yeah. of get through the track. It just sort of lays everything out. And that, that's sort of really good point, I think. Mm. So it, it 
this never sounds forced, does it? No. It's it's everything is effortless. It's yeah. sort of beguiling and it just flows along. Mm. Um, it's not a headbanger. It's not trying to smash your face in. Uh, but it's no way would you, would you call it boring or bland. No, no not no. at all. And this is this is yeah. quite a can be quite a harsh album. Yeah, mm. um, it, absolutely. But, but it didn't yeah. sound it at all. Yeah. In fact, it suited it yeah. beautifully. Because that can sound mm. like grey, dirgy mess. That album, yeah, on the band yes. album, yeah. I think, so. And it's interesting because your Pet Shop Boys album is sort of it's, it's very synth pop, isn't it? And, yeah. and fast and dynamic. Probably not really suited to this Oakton, to be perfectly fair to it. Mm. Um, but you know, your your Al was was, was yeah. magical, mm. absolutely yeah. magical. So a little bit horses for courses. Yeah, as um, always. Well, yeah. It, it kind of shows off what's really there on the recording very well. Mm. Yes, um, and it's a little out of its comfort zone when you've got, got big chugging synth bass and that kind of thing at high volumes. Yes, it's not yeah. quite. I mean, it can do it perfectly well, and it's nice. To, it's still a pleasure, but. You know, it really likes kind of um, more <coughs> acoustic kind of music, I think, yeah, doesn't sure. it? Jazz yeah, and delicately rock. layered production. Yeah. And, yeah. Can I ask, yeah. um, how much would this set me back if I wanted to buy one? Um, well, they're normally £3,398, Mike, but you can have this for four. <laughs> four pounds <laughs> four grand there we are I think that's um, I think that's I, I yeah. just think that's good value am I allowed to say special. I get into yes. trouble for this Chez I think yes. that's good value for a, for a four grand amp I really do oh, I think I, you get a heck so of a lot too. of bang for your yeah, bang yeah 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 well, oh. there's um, sorry Mike just no, no, very no, quickly okay. so I've just forgotten something yeah. you've got um, you know you've got the exposure 3510 that's round three isn't it or yeah. just under three two five two, uh, upwards depending on what you spec yes. on it I mean, that's a great amp. It's got loads more power. Um, and this is a little bit more expensive. It's got a lot more detail and depth. Yes. Um, but not doesn't have the grunt. Mm, but no. either of those two amps are fantastic buys, yeah, I yeah. think. So, I, I really sure. fancy a, a big class A amp. I really yeah. do. I've always, mm. always liked the idea of it. And we've talked about this before. I love the old musical fidelity ones you used to get. The massive yes. you know, A370s and whatever, yeah. 270s. Space eaters. Um, yeah. I, I, we've got an unboxing. Oh. I, forgot, <laughs> I forgot about this. It comes with a remote look. Um, and I've, 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 don't sigh. I've looked, I wanted to do this because been for this moment. I have, I have because I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Um, I think it's one of the coolest remotes I've ever seen. There's no writing on it. Mm. Look at that. How yeah, cool that's that? Feel, cool. I'm not going to give it to David because he won't appreciate it. But Jess, okay. feel how premium Thank that is. You. A lovely Ooh, remote. Very isn't nicely it? balanced. Oh, isn't it? it feels yeah. good in the hand. Yeah, 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 I like the smooth. Jez, you can come more often on this onto yes. Hi-Fi Riff. David, you sack. Yeah, just carry on with <laughs> it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, but isn't that no, a glorious? it's a very isn't pleasing piece of design, it actually. It is, yeah. yeah. No idea what any of the buttons do, I mean, You'll probably end up changing the input about four times before you get <laughs> well, to the volume. Control, control, but, uh, but, you know, hey, who cares? Who cares? You, well, in fact, you'd just frame it and put it on the wall, wouldn't you? Not use it at all. Well, maybe. Yeah, I just sort of admire it from a distance. 100%. 100%. Excellent. Mm. So um, I think it'd be really interesting to see uh, what other sources this would work really well with. Yeah. Because we tried it primarily with digital. Yeah. Mm. Um, Cord Dave. Cord yeah. Cord Dave. Yeah. You're Cord Dave now. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Named after you. Absolutely. Um, and uh, and Jez's speakers. Mm. But um, actually, I'm feeling left out now. Yeah. Oh, you've got a Dave and a Jez. We, we need the mic CD the mic, transport. Yeah, the mic, the mic yes. Yes. on the streamer. Yeah. Um, but it'd be mm. interesting to see what the what the sounds with like with vinyl because I mm. reckon it'd be silky smooth. Yeah, I'm sure I reckon it would. it would be absolutely yeah. amazing. Beautifully harmonic. Um, yeah. Yeah. It may be something like David. If you were to you say something like your gyro deck with this. Yeah. I think that'd be mm. a cool combination. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Or maybe even your techniques with your SME five. Yeah. Um, would yeah. work would work brilliantly. Yeah. Um, I really like the idea of that. Mm. The other thing I'd like to do, Jez, and you're going to uh, never forgive me for saying this, but I'd love to hear this with my quad electrostatic. Yeah. Because I think that would be a glorious combination. Mm. Mm. So, yeah. but David's yeah. biting his lip now. So, it, actually, so. I, I'm afraid to say it probably would be a very good conversation. <laughs> quite well. Com so you heard it here first. Mm -hmm. No, so, absolutely. Yeah. Um, it's quite quite a tricky one. Are you Let's do a riffometer on it. Yeah. Um, what do you think? So, um, anything else you wanted to add about it before yeah. we do? So, um, if you're if you're a kind of uh, into you know death metal uh, and you've got you know, you enjoy tinnitus, then <laughs> then it's not really the amplifier for you. Yes, sure. Um, but if you just want nice medium volume, beautiful lilting music, um, it, it's absolutely exceptional. Yes. I say. Yeah. Um, and um, you know, so if that's the, your cup of tea and you've got reasonably sensitive speakers, eighty eight dB or more, mm. you know, uh, and a good source, you need a good source yeah. as well. 
uh, then I think it's uh, it's got to be a nine and a half. Mm-hmm. I think I think you've yeah. made a really good point there. When you were out having a beer without me, yeah. Um, then I would listen to it at sort of half volume yeah. and it still mm. sounded very beguiling yeah. and very lovely it's one of the uh, joys of class A actually I isn't it yeah. Yeah. And, and actually that's really hard to find in a class AB you're mm. absolutely right yeah. No, uh, look, I'm going to do exactly the same as you in fact I'm even struggling to work out where it drops that half a point but I'm going to give it mm. nine and a half um, it's just a glorious amplifier I just nice. adore yeah. it Wonderful. Jez if you were yes. on, the, honor- on the riffometer honorary, honorary riffometer if you were, if, where would you score this I mean boy? I'm going to be really boring and join you actually on the nine and a half okay, and again yeah, sort of struggling fair, to find out where that, that yeah. point 0.5 would yeah. drop but no it's beautifully built wonderfully, beautifully made wonderfully yeah. made um, love the styling yeah, sounds gorgeous uh, it yeah. looks just as good from the front as from the back mm. I think it's great it yeah just fabulous very snazzy red colouring as well fantastic yeah. lovely piece of kit Jez, thank you for joining us. Pleasure. Thanks really for having me on, guys. Really great to have you here. As Fantastic. always, thank you. Cheers. Uh, and indeed, thanks to everybody for watching this episode of Mike and Dave's Hi-Fi Riff. And we'll very much look forward to seeing you at the next one. Thanks very much. Thank Cheers. Bye. Bye. Cheers. Bye.